So I've just been for a long walk um, on my own. Ollie's just not much of a walker. Uh, he's gone to the gym instead, but I just love it. I love this weather. I love walking in this weather. Um, and I've got about 15 minutes to wait for the bus to get back because I don't like walking up that big hill. And there's a garden center right opposite the bus stop. So I'm gonna pop in because usually when I'm looking for ornaments for my uh, Christmas tree, I'm looking for specifically blue and gold because I wasn't gonna put up the tacky tree. Tacky tree is now up because why not? So I'm gonna go in and find something really tacky for my tree. Hello. Hi. Oh, you're a grumpy cat. You are, you're a grumpy cat. Right, I've got 10 minutes to find something really tacky. Let's do this. Oh my God, what is that? That's a real contender already. I don't even know what that is and I love it. Jester dog. Jester dog is also a contender. Really love, love that as well. That's a good, good option. Oh my God. I love that. I love that. How much is that? 4 99 for that. Big Ben, big fan of. They're nice, but I feel like they're too nice. I successfully got two new decorations and still got the bus. Absolute win. Does anyone else do this? Where you see something like a Christmas decoration, for instance, and it's the last one left on the shelf and you have to get it for that reason alone. Especially when it's some kind of animal or has some kind of face that's just looking at you going, please don't leave me on my own. That's the reason I got one of these and it's actually a really nice decoration. It's random. It's more random than it is tacky. The other one is 100% tacky. The one that was pleading with me to take it home <laughs> is this. It's a Christmas goose and I just love him so much. I think he's so sweet. He's wearing a scarf and he's got glittery wings and little red boots on. I absolutely love him. And the other one, the other one makes no sense to me, but I think he's great. Um, it's, it's this little guy, it's this llama. He's got like a little pom-pom on the front carrying presents on his back. All I can do is shrug about it, but here he is, and he is now going on Tacky Tree. This is Tacky Tree, and I thought I would just give you a tour of some of the tacky decorations. A lot of them are lovely, a lot of them are really nice Disney decorations. Some of them were given to me by family, some of them have stories behind them, some of them are just random. And the reason I call this Tacky Tree is just because Individually, they're not tacky, but when you put them all together on one tree with multicolored tinsel, suddenly it's tacky. Um, and I love it. If anything, I love this tree more than the other tree. I now have two trees. The reason I have two trees <laughs> is because I have this tree um, from my flat, and I'm pretty sure in my flat, this uh, the ceiling wasn't far off the top of the tree, which is why I have this tree. Six foot tree, I think and it just about fit in my flat. And when I moved here, it just wasn't big enough. Um, and I liked the idea of just getting a new Christmas tree for a new house. Um, so we got this one over here, and this is like the proper Christmas tree. It's all blue and gold. It has a color scheme. All of the, the decorations are very classy, like these lovely big gold leaves and the snowflakes and the, the musical instruments and the nice the nice ball balls and then you've got tacky tree which is like the polar opposite and i i love it i actually quite like having them both in the same room as well but i have now come to prefer this tree just because it's filled with so much more personality so when my office is finally finished next year i will probably keep tacky tree in my office um just for my own personal joy and pleasure um but this year, I wasn't gonna put it up. Wasn't gonna put it up because I just didn't think there was space for it. And then I just missed all of my gorgeous Disney decorations and all of my real random tap. And I'm so pleased I put it up because it's bringing me so much joy, so much joy. The newest addition, aside from the two that I just showed you, are these Gryffindor baubles, uh, which were very kindly gifted to me by um, the Wizarding World. Um, and next to him, is my Jiminy Cricket, which still lights up after, hang on, I say this. 
there we go, still lights up after all these years. I was given this in 2000 and maybe 15 Christmas. I was given him along with Mary Poppins up here. Jiminy Cricket and Mary Poppins were given to me by my dresser at Les Mis. Uh, who is still my dresser at Les Mis this time around. I am a big lover of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, so I have a lot of Stitch decorations. Um, one of my favourite ones being him down here, um, all tangled up in Christmas lights. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, and another one there. <laughs> he is from 2016, and I don't remember where he came from. I think I was given him at Stage Door. Um, but directly below him is maybe my favourite, one of my all-time favourites, my little Lilo and Scrump. I think she is so, so sweet. I own a few of the lovely princesses with the fabric skirts, um, but this time I left Elsa and Anna for Ollie to put on the tree because he's about to play Hans in Frozen, so I thought it was a nice and meaningful thing for him to put Elsa and Anna on the tree himself. Round here is another favourite of mine. Um, I bought this one because I just loved it so much. It is the doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. And I just think it's great. I think it's such a lovely ornament. This one was given to me by my auntie. Um, just, I guess, for my love of vlogging. I cannot believe these still light up after so long. Because again, I had this one back in my flat and I haven't lived in my flat. Uh, for two years and I bought it long before I moved out. This is a decoration that Ollie's sister Emily bought us. Um, it says the Adams family on it, it's got the date, the year that she gave it to us and it's me, Scott and Ollie. <laughs> I just love it. This is a new addition this year, this lovely little cat um, and this star here. If you have followed me for long enough, you will have seen me on Instagram reposting posts from Rosie Red Corsetry. Um, she's incredible, her dresses are absolutely beautiful um, and her mum made me these decorations. Um, last year, I think it was last year or maybe the year before, she also made me my tree topper which is this lovely little angel here. And I just love them. I think they are so perfect for this tree. Round the back here, I've also got this little red riding hood, which was bought for me by my auntie. Um, I don't know the reason why. I played Little Red Riding Hood in an advert when I was five. Maybe that's the reason. There's a teacup back there as well that she also gave me, which I love so much. I think that's such a great decoration, considering my love of tea and coffee and it's red and polka dot, which was very on brand when she bought it for me. tree and to top it all off I also add these into like the center of the tree so you can't see them these are sensicles um, and you can get them in loads of different uh, fragrances this one is oh Christmas tree and smells absolutely amazing on the other one I have cinnamon I only ever add like two because they are so strong <laughs> that you only really need one or two of them um, and then the rest of them I just save until the following year. Oh tacky tree, oh tacky tree, how tacky are your branches? <laughs>